Welcome back to the channel, just a quick Dying Light 2 update for you today. There's been a release date, or should I say a release window. The developers over at Techland have confirmed that there will be a notable patch coming that will include new game plus, amongst other things, so we're going to talk about that for a few minutes here today. But yeah, if you do like today's Dying Light 2 video, hit the like button, subscribe for more Dying Light 2 content. And with that being said, let's get into it. So yeah, as I said in the intro, Dying Light 2 developers at Techland have released a few tweets today that there is going to be a notable patch released this month, so sometime in the next three weeks, that is going to include new game plus. So with that being said, patch 3 will give players the chance to play through the game again whilst retaining their gear, which I personally have been waiting for, I didn't really see the point in running through the game from the start again, so the new game plus for me is going to be a big draw to get me back playing the game, because obviously I want to take every other avenue that I didn't take in my first playthrough. And you know, Techland have also teased that there'll be more to this update, and it'll be quote one of their biggest patches end quote the game's gotten the developers talk about new game plus mode and the rest of the content over patch three so as you can see the talk to twitter to let us know the news they put survivors our team is working hard on patch three for dl2 stay human it'll be one of the biggest patches we've released so far and apart from many fixes on both multi and single player mode it will also introduce a new game plus mode giving you more reasons to revisit the city we're planning to release patch three on all platforms by the end of this month full notes will be available once the update is live. I know I am really interested to see what the other content is that um, they allude to in the tweets. There are a few rumours circulating that there are a few data mine locations or points of interest in the game. So it is going to be really interesting to see if we get any type of DLC or new mission content. Anyway, that is it for today's Dying Light 2 video. As I say, it was just a quick update. So just to reiterate, you can expect New Game Plus to be available before the end of April, so within the next three weeks or so, along with some extra content that they're obviously keeping hush-hush until the release of Patch 3. But yeah, that is it for today's Dying Light 2 video. Hit the like button, subscribe for more Dying Light 2 content, and yeah, that's the video. Thank you.